Yo, what's going on guys? It's Flight, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today in this video, it's gonna be a life story of the time that I almost got freaking trampled by a whole bunch of camels. I know, it sounds crazy, but uh, you guys are gonna understand in just a second. So without further ado guys, let's get straight into the video. So basically what ended up happening is um, I was taking vacation, right? I was in California, and uh, I was in like the San Diego area, and uh, I wasn't at the San Diego Zoo, but it was like this kind of weird, you know, uh, like, I don't know, it was like a small zoo, I don't really know how to explain it, but, uh, you know, it was nice either way. So, I was there with my cousin, my mom, my dad, my aunt, my uncle, and it was pretty lit, yo, we were just chilling, we were looking at all the animals and stuff, and we came up on, on our way back to the car and stuff, there was, um, you know, a camel area on the, um, you know, in the zoo, and there were some guys there, and you could actually go, and if you paid a dollar, so I forgot exactly how much, it was probably like five bucks or something like that, uh, probably overpriced to be honest, you actually got to ride the camel, and, uh, you know, go around this, like, little track thing with the camel, and, uh, but yeah, but there was like five or six camels there and uh, you know I saw it and I'm like wow that's pretty sick you know can I ride a camel so I asked my mom like yo can I ride a camel it's pretty awesome I'm really excited to do it and it looks pretty cool and of course my mom being the nice mom she is told me that I could so me and my cousin both because my cousin asked his uh, you know his parents as well they both said yes so me and my cousin you know we each got on separate camels and uh, we were riding around and stuff right so basically Closer to the end of the ride, as we were going around on these camels, it was pretty awesome, it was a whole bunch of fun, you know, almost like on the way back, the wind started to blow, and because the camel exhibit sort of thing had a bunch of sand around it, because, you know, that's camels' natural habitat and stuff, you know, in the desert and all that, and they, uh, you know, go on long treks along the desert and all that, but, uh, yeah, so the, the, you know, the wind started to pick up or whatever, and sand was blowing everywhere, so basically, I had to close my eyes a little bit, because I didn't want to get sand in my eyes, and I guess because this wind blew and all the sand was going everywhere, the camel that I happened to be on got, you know, like, really startled, so basically what happened is I actually had to hold Hold on for dear life onto this camel because what ended up happening is I guess the camel got spooked and this thing started bucking like a bucking bronco like you see like the bull riding and the, all the horses you know bucking broncos and stuff it's really crazy and um yeah so this this camel was just bucking and I was holding on I was about to freaking fall off I, I got so scared and it was absolutely insane because what happened is as like my camel was freaking out because of it my camel was like making weird sounds and stuff too all the other camels in the area freaked out and started like running all over the place and when this happened basically um, I was still holding on but all these camels started to run around and stuff and eventually um, you know my camel calmed down and the guy running the thing he came over and you know like stopped and my cousin was fine the whole time for some reason the camel he was on was just totally chill totally mellowed out and relaxed uh, but mine on the other hand and all the others were just freaking the hell out but anyway um, you know, the guy came over, and he took the camel that I was on, you know, while I was on, he, like, grabbed it by the reins or whatever, like, uh, it had, like, a, you know, rope kind of thing around its neck or whatever, and he brought it over back to the front, but basically, the craziest thing about this whole story was the fact that while my, um, you know, my, I was gonna say my bucking bronco, it might as well have been, but my camel was actually bucking, and I was about to fall off, what ended up happening was, is, if I could have fell off, I could have been both kicked trampled and you know just run over by not only my own camel but my cousin's camel along with all the other camels around the area that were you know running around this track after they all got spooked so I was pretty close to death and I'm just super glad and grateful that I was able to hold on for dear life onto that camel as it was bucking like a bucking bronco on TV so that was absolutely crazy and that's about it for the story guys I hope you enjoyed it uh, but one thing I want to mention before the video ends is I just want to let you guys know about my Twitter I have it in my description and by my channel Channel links, you know, when you go to my channel page, and you guys can probably see that, but nobody pays too much attention to. But I wanted to let you guys know that um, my Twitter is actually something that's really important, not only to me but to the channel itself. So if you guys want to go check out my Twitter, the link is in the description below. Um, basically, what I do on my Twitter is I let you guys know whenever there's going to be an issue uploading, or whenever I'm close to uploading, you know, 10, 20 minutes away from uploading, uh, or if I just can't upload that day at all. And I hope you guys can like understand that or whatever. So if you guys want to be like notified on, you know 
know, uh, if, you know, like, whatever happens in my life, if there's an issue that I can't post, or if there's anything like that, definitely go follow me on Twitter and, you know, put the notifications on so you can check and see what's up with me, uh, because I definitely put updates on my Twitter whenever some stuff like that happens. But, uh, you know, that's about it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this video. If you want to see more, um, as you can see, there is some Skate 3 gameplay in the background for you guys to enjoy, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. But, uh, yeah, guys, as always, my name is Pure Flight, and I'm out. Peace.